Okay, when you pull your brake and your brake piston out, your brake pads and your brake piston out, they actually come out like this. And uh, you can take a, all this material, you can actually take a punch and set it between two pieces of metal or any kind of blocking and knock the piston off of it. And when you get it back from the, when you get it back from the brake, the brake shop or the clutch, the clutch shop, you'll actually get this uh, new padding put on there, but it'll be blank. It won't have this on here. And you'll have a separate piston that's got this cylinder that needs to go into that hole. Well, you just can't stick it in there. It's 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 going to need a need a little press. So I don't have a press. I made a press. Um, this is a 20 ton bottle jack. Uh, it's just uh, some four inch angle iron that's um, that I drilled holes in, made a nice little square, and then I blocked up the 20 ton, 20 ton jack. So what I've got in here, you can kind of see it's a little bit off, but as I start jacking it, you'll actually see that it will uh, compress in there. And you see some of the some of the oil that I've had so it's soaking in for a little while. Squeeze out of there, and I'll actually soak it again after I get this piston attached to that brake shoe. As you can see, it's starting to close up and straighten up also. Okay, it's close. Okay, all right. Let me release the pressure. And you actually see it bend back a little bit. There it goes. So there was a ton of pressure on that. Now if I can pull it down. And I actually had some blocking in here. This is this is just to protect the material. It protects back the piston. And now it's compressed, it's ready to go back in.